What's up, y'all? As y'all can see, I'm doing my bathroom over, but I had a little electrical problem. Uh, turns out the previous owners had an outlet here that had, this thing had absolutely no power. This is ridiculous. It had no power whatsoever. I had on my testers. I tested my electrical kit and everything. No power. Look at this. I should be getting shot. Now, obviously, I could take it all the way up and go in my ceiling wall. Now, I ain't feel like doing all that junk. So I'm just going to cap this, cut it, cap it, tuck it up in there. What I did, I did new Romex, and I put a GFI because this is a bathroom. The GFI, in case water hits it, it shuts it off, protects your life, whatever. So, but as you can see, what I had to do to get this done, I had to cut in my wall, tap into this outlet, drill through these corner beams, which was like hard. Boy, was it hard because it's a corner beam. It's more than just a two by four. It's some thick stuff. So I had to drill through that. Drill through this, which took forever. Come through this, snake it up, bring it through here. Then once I brought it through here, as you can see now, I'm gonna show y'all we got power. So now if you plug it up, obviously this is my regular light. This is my ceiling fan. I'm sure y'all can hear that. Now if you hit this on, watch this should light up green. Obviously no green, right? Which means it's a GFI. I got it on safety protector. So you want light. You hit this, watch this, boom. See, it turns green. Now we got power. If water was to hit that, it will shut off. This will turn red. It'll tell you it's faulty for some reason. Now when we plug it up, we got power. This here is no good. We did a whole new electrical wiring in here. As you can see, I'll show y'all another one of my videos. I did all new plumbing in this bathroom. I'm going to show y'all the finished results when we finish it. But, uh. Walking through quick. See what I did? My cement board. Me and my wife. Every job I do, my wife be right by my side doing everything with me. Hey. So now <laughs> we're going to membrane waterproof it today. And then we're going to tile it tomorrow. And we'll show you how to finish the results. But pretty much this video today was just about the electrical problem. Another reason I had to stress that because it's just like when I'm doing work for people. Sometimes I give a person a price, but I always got to tell them, you never know what you, what's behind these walls. You know, uh, give you a prime example. Let's say I was doing a bathroom over for a person and they want an outlet. They may not have no, have no clue. Once I, yeah, I can do your sheetrock and all that, put your new toilet, new sink, new tub, all that. That's fine. But then when we find out here, this wasn't part of the job. And doing this electrical is, this, it could be dangerous. It could be time consuming. It could be hard. And that's what a lot of people, especially women, they'd be like, oh my God, why is it taking so long? Why it cost so much? Y'all have no clue what this stuff does sometimes and how hard it is. You got to drill through beams. You got to snake through walls. You got to tap into another electric source. Maybe your electric panel is not worded right, which that was the case here too. They had this breaker as nothing, zero. I could not find the electric source. I had to do a lot of problem solving to find the electric source. Then I had to write it. Hope y'all appreciate that. Peace.